everyone, it's Ryan the War Boss coming at you with an up vlog. In today's vlog, I will be painting a miniature from Dragon Trapper Lodge. They were nice enough to send me this month's um, bundle to get a paint job from me, and I really appreciate that. Being willing to work with us new, you know, low level new uh, YouTubers is a huge thing, and I can't thank them enough for doing that. Um, as well as Army Painter for also helping sponsor this video as well. Thank you guys, um, both of you. I'm really proud and really happy to have gotten this opportunity. So, um, unfortunately, normally I show you the green mini at the beginning of the video, but this time I had to redo my intro. Unfortunately, I lost a ton of data when doing the original guy that I did, um, which kind of upset me because he did. He came out really well. Um, but that's okay. I was all right with that because even though I lost my video data I ended up doing another one that came out identical and just as good So I will give you these guys, uh, you know some close up to the end of the video But let's get to it so you can see how I did this and leave your comments again down below uh, Like and subscribe if you think this video was helpful or you liked it and um, I'll tell you what I think about these miniatures at the end so here I take in Army Painter's Lava Orange and I begin to paint the tiger's head, tail, hands, feet, um, anywhere that you can really see it. After that I grab Crystal Blue, which is another Army Painter paint, and I do the armor. I also at this point have done a um, wow, an Army Painter Bloody Red, I think is what it's called, um, and that's what I used there for the cloth. And then I grab Matte Black. And I come in with gunmetal as well, and I mix the two to give it a darker look for the sword. Um, this way here, it's not so bright that it shines. Uh, I end up going back underneath it and giving it a blue highlight on the blade um, and a white highlight on the sides a little bit. This way here, it looks like a shining blade. Um, then I take the matte black and I do the handles of the uh, blades where you know you'd hold the sword. Then I do the stripes on his body with the same matte black as well. Um, this way here I get everything that uses the matte black done uh, and you know go from there. I think the stripes added a nice touch on his head too. Um, this way here he has them everywhere on the sides of his face, his head, the whole nine yards. It looks pretty cool. Um, I did like it. I ended up using black for his nose and his eyes as well as his claws at the bottom of his feet. And that's um, what I used the matte black for. I then grab the matte white and I start doing all the little ropes and intricacies around him. Um, I also use the silver at this point to do his pauldrons. I then get greedy gold to go and do the blades themselves. As you can see, here I'm giving, I want to say, uh, not the pommel, it's the, I want to say the finger guard, is what it's called, or, or just the guard. Um, I do it with gold as well as the intricacies around it. Uh, with the white and go over the handles of the black. This way here, I give a nice coat to that. After, I take Strong Tone ink and I go across all of the orange parts. This way here, it doesn't get too smudgy. And then I take Dark Tone to do all the armor pieces. And I want to spread it out so as you can see at the beginning, I rub it pretty thick at the first spot, but I end up going back and spreading it out over to more of his armor. Once that's done, I actually do the base, which I use jungle green, as you can see here. I did it before I did the mini, because again, I lost the footage of this guy after um, I finished his base and started painting him. Then I grab my knife and I take some wooden pieces and just gouge out some chunks to make it look like bamboo trees. Now go back with ash gray and paint all the rocks. Once I finish with the ash gray, I end up hitting them with a dark tone ink as well to give them a nice dirty muddy feeling to them. I also then take my army painter basing material and 
use a super glue water Windex complex and go over the base and sprinkle some of the stuff on, which you'll see in the next slide. I also went and painted paper leaves to be a uh, green as well for jungle. And that's how I made the bamboo leaves that I use for the bamboo tree. Rocks that were, you know, dark now look like they're brown with the wash on them and the bamboo leaves and trees have been put together. Um, and that really concludes is if you think for the base, which is pretty simple. I end up gluing some other rocks on as well to make it look like they had everything they needed. Um, and this I just did with some simple Loctite to the bottom of the rock and then the bottom of the rock to the base. Alrighty, now that these guys are done, um, I'm going to get some close-up of them for you. And again, I hope you guys like them. They are really cool miniatures by Dragon Trapper Lodge. Um, of course, I painted them with all Army Painter stuff. Once again, thank you to those guys for helping out make this video a possibility, um, for sure. Uh, again, one has the base and the other one has no base, but they were both painted the exact same way. Um, and I hope you guys like that. If you can, leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Don't forget, I'm always here to make more videos. And uh, this is Ryan the Wood Boss saying, WAG!